Uh, perhaps. I mean, I guess you'd be ignorant to ignore. Um, but, you know, I think it's part, part, you know, it's my sixth time racing here and, and my fourth time wearing the number one bib, which is an honour, but I think with it comes pressure. You only understand if you've, if you've had to deal with it. And, uh, you know, a lot was made in 2010 about allegiances and um, all this kind of thing. I mean, essentially, I think it's a non-drafting race. And if everyone sticks to the rules, it shouldn't matter. Um, particularly if the wind blows from the side, it won't matter. So, uh, you know, I think the smartest and most intelligent thing I've heard is what Jordan just said. People come here trying to key off everybody else. People who historically have raced well here race to their own strengths. And that doesn't mean you can be ignorant of your competition. But we've all raced each other a lot. Everyone's been watching the form guide all year, as you guys have. You know people's strengths and weaknesses, but I mean, if you're smart, you're gonna to race to your own strengths. That's how you get the best out of yourself, because ultimately, that's the way you're gonna perform the best here. And there is a race going on, but, you know, you've trained, you know your form, your fitness levels. Um, hopefully you're prepared to suffer, because that's what it takes. And ultimately, you get the most and the greatest performance, the best outcome if you race to your own strengths. Um, you know, there's no point trying to ride with Sebastian. It ain't gonna happen. Same way, there's no point riding with Norman or, or Chris Liotta. You've got to race your own race to get the best possible outcome. And, you know, I think a lot is made of partnership. And let's, let's be honest, partnerships of convenience form all the time in all races. Um, but you need to stay strong, stay disciplined, race to your own race, and that's how you get the best outcome. And uh, certainly that's how you can perform consistently here.